this lesson, we're going to discuss the plan view of an instrument approach plate. Now the plan view of an instrument approach plate gives you a full overview top down of the approach procedure. As you can see, this is the ILS to runway 30 left in San Jose, California. The approach procedure is fairly straight since it's an ILS and we could see the localizer fan on this overhead view. We could see the approach course. The approach course is 303 inbound on this ILS approach. We can see the terrain in brown on either side of the approach corridor. The nav aids for the approach and the missed approach holding pattern. Now we also have a, the minimum sector at altitude or minimum safe altitude in the lower left hand corner. And we have some feeder radials and other radials from VORs that show us intersections and other necessary navigational information. Now the data on the plan view is always drawn to scale unless there are concentric rings on the approach chart such as in this approach procedure here. When there are concentric rings only the data within the 10 mile ring in the center is to scale. Another way to show a break in scale is by a jagged line crossing the course. There are numerous examples of mileage breaks in this chart. Finally, Change of scale may be shown by an inset box, such as the box on the upper right hand corner of this chart. Some charts may also have a 10 nautical mile reference line drawn around the final approach fix. This does not change the scale on the chart at all. It's simply there as a reference point to show what lies within the 10 nautical mile circle of the final approach fix for your reference while flying the approach. Now the terrain depiction on the plan view of the approach chart is only shown in shades of brown if the terrain within the plan view is 4,000 feet above the airport elevation. So now that's any terrain that is shown on the plan view if it's above 4,000 feet above the airport it'll be shown in brown or if the terrain within six nautical miles of the airport reference point, that's where they measure the airport elevation, is at least 2,000 feet above the airport elevation. So again, if any of the terrain is, above, is higher than 4,000 feet above the airport, it'll be shown in brown, or if any of the terrain within six miles of the airport is above 2,000 feet above airport elevation, it will be shown in brown. Now in the lower left hand corner on this chart is the minimum sector altitude diagram or minimum safe altitude. We'll discuss MSAs later in a different lesson, but they're on every instrument approach procedure. In the upper right hand corner you can see an inset box showing the alternate missed approach fix. On most charts, the missed approach holding fix is actually too far to show on the plan view and is therefore shown in an inset box such as the alternate missed approach fix on this chart. So if you see a dashed line going off the chart, go look for the inset box to figure out exactly what the holding fix is. Other things you may see on the plan view of an approach procedure are instructions such as to maintain 4,000 feet to Clyde intersection as noted on this chart. If an intersection is depicted, the crossing radials defining that intersection are shown as a light solid line and include the frequency and identifier of the station which creates the radial and 
the radial degrees itself. DME is depicted through the use of a open D symbol with a number inside. In this case, Clyde intersection is 16.7 miles from the San Jose localizer. That's all for the major points of the plan view of an instrument approach procedure. I hope you learned something and I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson. <laughs>